I know he's an immigrant, and sometimes, you know, things get lost in translation. And for him, he wanted to be successful. He equated being successful and American with being white. And in the neighborhood that he lived in at the time, you know, that he still lives in, there were the people that he knew that were perceived as white were Jewish. So it, it had to do with that. However, there is a reason why psychologically he really um, was repulsed by where he came from. And I find that out during the course of the book. And basically, you know, what happened was that when he moved here, he left the Dominican, he fled the Dominican Republic because of Trujillo, um, Rafael Trujillo during that era. And um, when he came to live with his father and his stepmother, his stepmother said to his father, it's either me or him. So my father spent his um, 12 or 13th you know, year of life. He's never not been, he's never felt snow or seen an autumn or anything. He's been in a tropical um, island all his life, right? Aruba and the Dominican Republic. And all of a sudden he became homeless. And he became basically a scavenger on the street. And um, sometimes he would see his dad and his dad wouldn't recognize him because he was so filthy. And he was so, you know, so my father, you know, I guess dealt with that rejection by just pushing everything away that dealt with that identity. I was at this, you know, I was maybe 16 years old and I was invited or won the scholarship and I was at this kind of nerd camp uh, in, uh, at Indianapolis. Um, and uh, I only think about it now that it was a little strange. There was three Latinos and they put us all in the same room. Um, <laughs> of course. And, and now we were all roommates, and I, and I thought it was great at the time, and now I think that's a little strange. Um, but we all had to do this presentation, you know, like a presentation about like things that we were interested in. It was like, like I said, super nerdy, this place. So I did my presentation on Charles Mingus. Um, the other Latino guy named Sam Garcia did his on, like, Freud. And then uh, the third kid, Jose from San Jose, that was how we, so Jose from San Jose, um, <laughs> did his thing on the, on the Chicano movement. And you know, we, we, we talked, and Jose and I got to be very close, and we were talking. And, you know, at the end of it, at the end of two weeks, he was like, hey, he's like, you can be Chicano too. <laughs> you know? And it was, it was, I was, I know, it was really, you know, a, a nice invitation, you know? <laughs> and, and as I, I said, yes, of course, at the time. <laughs> the thing is, you can't, I mean, you, you know, it's a funny thing to be. It's like you can't, like, oh, I got my Chicano card here. Like, I'm all good, you know? It's just a funny thing. And I think that the labels are, are, are inherently problematic. They're useful at times. And, then the, and, and, you know, if you really, really dig deep into them, sometimes they break.